Hi, welcome to Deus Ex, Mankind Divided. We're doing SM05 Samizdat. But uh, we're going to take the scenic route. We're going to get lots of extras along the way because this is the place to get them. So first up, when you go into TF29, um, don't forget to loot the upstairs. There's quite a lot of good stuff there. There's loads of stuff downstairs, lots of computers to hack. Don't worry, I'm not going to sit there and get all of them, but I'll point out two really obvious things if you haven't been here before. First up, take the second right into the infirmary, and up there is a Praxis kit. That was an easy one. Right off the bat. It's a little tricky to get to, but there we go, there's a Praxis kit. Uh, and it's there, in the infirmary. Then when you head up the stairs, which we'll do in a second, oh, and you can sort of go around the back and have a little loot around as well if you want. Uh, there's all sorts of goodies. But yeah, I'm not going to spend too much time on those. Head up the stairs and you will talk to... Uh, I forget her name, but she'll give you a point of interest, which is the shooting gallery, along with the shooting gallery keycard. And it's worth visiting here just to pop in. It's a pretty boring tutorial. You don't have to sit all the way through it. But as soon as you go in, you'll get 350 experience um, just for doing that. So that's quite nice. Uh, and you can go in and it gives you a tutorial on weapon types and mods and ammo and all that good stuff and our armor piercing and blah, 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 blah. But you can ditch early. Anyway, after that, we're going to head up and we're going to speak to Mr. Chang. He's on the top floor and at the top of the stairs, take a right immediately, and he'll be standing by his desk here in the Cyber Crimes Unit. And if you have a chat to him, he'll talk about the fact that the website's been hacked. Uh, you can delve a bit deeper and chat to him. There's no uh, Casey bonus there, but his first up is find the source of the hack. And uh, then I went on to loot this place clean, um, look out for little vents and stuff all over the place. But we're going to head uh, to uh, here, follow the marker. This is where the trader is, um, the merchant guy. Um, he's directly above me at the moment. And you can actually sneak in through his kitchen if you want, although there's a laser guided light. Um, and you can loot his bedroom safely, shut the door behind you, and there's a few things you can pick up in there. But you can jump across this windowsill or, more smartly, go from the other side and go in through the window if you don't want to hack this door. But by now, you should have a pretty decent hacking skill. There's the door to hack. I've already picked this place clean. I can't remember what's in here. Um, there's some crafting equipment, I think, and some sellables on the table. Um, but hack this computer here. It's a pretty easy hack. Um, and thanks again to Xenomorph for pointing out that you can just go straight for the red node uh, if it's unlocked, and that will unlock everything in one easy go. So that's what I'm doing almost every time when it's available now. Uh, there's a little bit of stuff there, but nothing in the messages. You'll get um, a messenger. You can like go, you know, text messaging with him, chat. Uh, if you say um, store to inquire, what's the rush? There we go. And then bluff. He will give you directions, directions, <laughs> directions uh, to the location of the hideout, along with a code for the door. Now, um, while we're here, it's probably worth pointing out that there's a secret area. Uh, I think there was some, I don't know, stuff in there. But there's a secret area in the uh, merchant's place, and you probably want to sell everything you, you go into. But in the storage room on the right, there's a vent. If you go into the back of the vent, you'll need jumpy legs to get up here. Um, a couple of jumps, and you'll get in here, and there's, I think, a weapon, and a weapons crate, and a weapons locker. Um, and I think there was some mines and stuff in there, and that is where the other shortcut was. But anyway, on to the manhole. Now, before we drop into the manhole, there's a lot of other great stuff to see and do in here. Um, first of all, we're going to drop down to the side. There's the music box there. Um, you can also, we're going to go into the music box eventually as well. Directly opposite, there's a door that we'll come to as well. But drop down here and take a left. And you'll find a smashy wall. So break through that. This isn't the only way in here. Um, you'll also, if you don't have org rebreathing, there's 200 experience for Explorer. Um, if you don't have rebreathing, uh, you are, it's a little bit tricky. You'll probably burn a couple of hypo, hypo stims trying to get up here. There's a door that leads under the box there, but we'll come back to that from the other way so that we get the experience for hacking the crate. Uh, but this leads up to 300 experience um, for Wayfinder or something like that. So if you want to jump up there and you've got rebreathing, you can do that. But otherwise, head back up into the box this way, uh, right by where the uh, manhole is, and then around to the left this way. Um, now, see this rubbish bin here? We're going to jump up to that balcony, but put this on here. And you want it leaning against the wall like that, and then it won't fall down when you jump on it. And then turn around and you can jump up to that platform. Again, you'll need jumpy legs. The jump mate might take a couple of goes. Um, but make sure that it's hooked against the wall and you should be fine. Jump your way up there. There's not actually an awful lot of stuff in here. There's an open computer. Um, there's a credit chip with 48 credits. 
uh, and a um, yeah, not very much of anything else. A drawer with some stuff in it, I think. Uh, let's come on, come on, look to the right. There we are. There. Uh, a sellable stem processor. Um, but this vent here on the wall will take us to the other side of the gas trap. Uh, nothing in there of any interest. Um, and you will be right in front of the valve. So this is a safer way to make it up. Um, there's the valve right there, so just walk out, flip the valve, and you shouldn't need to use a, hip, a hypo stim um, to deal with that. Now be careful going down if you don't have Icarus Landing. Um, you'll see by the end of this I've got about nine Praxis kits, so I need to start investing in them. There's an awful lot of experience to be farmed here, but you can. Uh, this is the way. If you're down beneath the gas here, uh, first of all jump up here and then immediately look to your right there. If you jump up onto that pipe there, there we go, and then look around and up to the left and left a little bit more to the middle of this pipe and jump up again, you'll grab onto there and then you can just jump up onto that ledge and that's the vent that we just came through with the valve behind us. So that's a little bit of extra stuff in there, an extra 300 experience. Um, and then directly behind us, uh, oh no, we're not going to go there yet, we're going to go into the box. Um, if you've got Ghost, definitely get Ghost, it's awesome. Um, invisibility, hack this computer, if you don't have it the police will shoot you while you're doing it. But uh, hack your way through here. And there we are, and there's some bits and pieces. No codes, unfortunately, but 75 extra experience for data extraction. Drop down here. Uh, now there's a bio cell in the room on the left, uh, there, and you're going to need that to put into there, which will open that, which has got some crafting parts, guns, and about 150 in credits. You can punch through the wall or preferably um, hack the door here for a little more experience. There we are, pretty simple hack. We're going straight for the... Uh, there we go. No data in there, unfortunately. Uh, but some crafting parts there and then some movable boxes. I think there's a thing down to the right, maybe. Uh, there, yeah, a hydraulic micro pump. But that's the door the other side where the gas was uh, up there. That's where the gas was there. Now we're going to go back out and around, final time, I promise, and we'll get back to the mission in a second. But these are all really good things and there's no other really good place to put them. But there's a door here um, that's actually off the side of the map. Um, it's a pretty simple hack. You can head straight for the node here as far as I remember. Maybe not, actually. Yeah, there we go. Yep, first try. And in here there's a couple of weapons crates uh, with some tranquilizer arms and a bunch of grenades and a bit of crafting parts and that's about it. And then I throw a brick against the wall a few times, a thing against the wall, and that's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, that's all the optional extras around here. We're going to dive into the manhole cover now. Um, then we're going to go uh, and find Sam's dad headquarters. Um, we'll come back and explore to the right on our return visit here, but in the meantime to the left there's a locked door to the right. You can chuck an explosive container at that and shoot it. Um, that's one way to get in. The other way is like this. So head down here. Um, there's some booze you can loot in that crate to the right there, and then some on the left here as well. Just walk past it there. Um, but booze is pretty cheap. You want to sell it at the place where Jensen's apartment is. He buys booze for the uh, highest prices. The guy in this part of Prague buys weapons for the highest prices. Then you want to jump off there onto the pipe. Try not to fall off like I did. Let's try again there. Jump that way. Then stick around. Hug the right-hand side. And you'll see a hole in the wall just in front of you to the right there. Um, there's nothing down here, unfortunately. But drop in through here and you'll find a corpse with a pocket secretary on it, um, which has a code to maybe a lockup, I think. I'm not sure. I suspect I've already opened it. And then there's some uh, booze as well. Uh, there we go. All the fives. Storage unit in the courtyard. Up to six Praxis kits now. Nothing to spend on this. And booze. And some more booze. Yay. Yay for booze. And then there's a door here that makes the computer -y bleep when you open it from this side, but I could never find a panel to hack, um, annoyingly, but yeah, whatever. It worked. Anyway, head back to the main room, follow the blue marker if you've got that up. Um, over here there's a locker on its side, but there's nothing in any of the uh, things, unfortunately. A little bit annoying, but what are you going to do? Nothing there. And then move these crates, uh, all those cardboard boxes, and you'll see this door uh, around the side, and you've got the code off the messenger chat with the guy from Samazdad. 
Now you can either go straight to hack that, or if you want to go for a um, just wrap up the mission now, you can jump up here. Uh, and then if you head around to the right, I didn't really find much of anything up here, but down this way you'll actually come in for an overview on these guys. And you'll get uh, 750 experience, there we are. Um, and I think if you flip that breaker, it will power down all the computers, um, or you can shoot them from up there, or whatever, and that will just finish that mission. But there's a lot more experience to be had. So I'm going to go in, even though we've got the code for this door, um, I think I actually use it in the end, because um, the hack, even though it's a level 3, it proved quite tricky. Um, so then open the door and you'll go through and you'll talk to K. Uh, there's some crafting parts on the right. There we are, open sesame and uh, just open sesame. Crafting parts on the right, and when you go in much deeper, it'll automatically trigger this conversation. Now, uh, you do have the option to persuade um, and use the Casey mod. Uh, if you don't want to do that, um, just pick work together. Um, or if you can't pick that, just uh, go work together. Otherwise, you're going to go double beta if you go for persuade and use the Casey mod. Uh, so objectify and objectify. Uh, there we are. And that will give you 500 bonus for not Silver Tongue, but Spin Doctor. There we are. You're making the right choice. Uh, in addition, when you wrap up the conversation, you'll get a chance to still ex still accept the mission that he's going to send you on. So you'll get another 1500 there. Chang will chime in. Um, and there's lots of stealth software and other bits and pieces lying around here, so make sure you grab all those. There's a credit chip somewhere as well, and some boozes. Mm, delicious Welsh whiskey. Welsh whiskey? Yeah, Welsh whiskey. There's another hacking thing. Um, you can hack this computer as well, but uh, there's some more hacking software. Um, you can hack this computer as well. I think there's something over here maybe on the table. Is that what the credit chip is? Yeah. Um, you can hack this computer as well, but you're going to want Ghost. If you do it without Ghost, uh, they will get pretty annoyed at you and shoot you in the face while you're hacking, and you'll die. Oh, don't miss the hydraulic mic. Oh, multi-tool, sorry, up there as well. Um, you'll see here I go to start hacking, and I'm doing okay. Uh, and then they go a little bit bananas, and I die. Oh, dear. So make sure you activate Ghost before you hack. There we are, wait for the juice to spin up and then ghosty, ghosty, ghost. And you can go straight for the red node here, you've got plenty of time. Uh, that's a lie, I had to use a stopworm. <laughs> anyway, um, you could have nuked it too, I guess. Um, it's sometimes worth nuking fives, but there was a 300 data extraction off the back of that as well, so pretty good experience. Then make your way out. Um, it sends you kind of the long way around, but that's okay. Um, further than the route we came in. Still. Follow the markers if you've got them up, otherwise follow the map. Uh, take a left up here and then you'll eventually come to a ladder. I jump around a bit just seeing if there's anything there, but there really isn't. Uh, and once you're up here, you need to make your way to the bank. You've got to dig up dirt in the CEO's office. And there's actually three pieces of evidence, but one you don't get until mission six. I've just uncovered that, um, but didn't think to splice it into this video. But it's fine with two, you don't get extra experience. There's, it's maybe a fourth, I don't know, it's hard to tell. But anyway, head into the bank. And there's two ways to do this. If you've got Ghost, which is really quite useful, you can go in this way and just uh, f toss a bio cell and um, run through here, essentially. If you've got Silent Legs too, that might help. Um, I haven't put any points into cutting down on Ghost yet. But just walk through here, get around the corner. You should have plenty of time. There might be suspicion, but it's not going to be enough to trigger anything bad. Now up here, hide behind here, you can sneak up to the next chair. There's a pocket secretary on this chair that I completely miss. So I run over here, nearly get seen by the camera, and then realise I've forgotten the pocket secretary. Couldn't remember what was on it, so went back for it. You'll see in a second. Um, watch out for that guy. There's the pocket secretary there. You can also go into the executive boardroom and smack that guy around the back of the head, and I think there's some credit chips and stuff, but I'm basically... Anything that's not absolutely essential, I'm going to leave for you guys to explore, and I'll probably do another mission where I clean the bank out properly. I did it on uh, one save, and it's quite fun, but Ghost is definitely recommended. It makes life much, much easier. Um, there's also a way in here through the garage, but you want to head into the loose. You can, um, if you wait long enough, you can open and close the door, and the guard will get suspicious uh, and come over and investigate, and you can knock him out and chuck him into one of the cubicles, but he wasn't biting there, so I just left him to his own devices. I didn't find anything in any of these cubicles, um, which was strange. Uh, there is a bathroom somewhere that's got stuff in it, I just can't quite remember where. Um, but yeah, nothing really of note in here. Now, out the other side... Um, 
No, not back through there. I'm just opening all the doors to make sure I didn't miss anything, but I definitely didn't. And no vents in the ceiling, sadly. <laughs> but it's just an easy way to dodge the camera. Um, open the door there, and then you're going to run up here. Watch out for the dude uh, and the camera patrolling, but you should be able to just run there, even if he's looking pretty much directly at you. He's not going to see you. Well, I mean, he's not going to get alerted. Uh, and then when he turns his back, watch out for the guy Samachek or something who's wandering around in here. He's the guy that uh, you message when you break into computers. Um, so I did actually knock him out on one playthrough, but you can basically sneak around behind him through this door, pop this vent, and into here, and then this will bring you out by the elevator. And then we're just going to cross over from the elevator to get to the CEO's office. There. Um, you can walk over here, it's fine, no one's going to see you there. What you want to do is tuck in on the left side of the door, then open the door. These guards will get suspicious. One will wander over, but make sure when you open the door that the one on the right sits down before you mug the guy on the left, because if you get him the moment the prompt comes up, he'll turn around and see the body and freak out and come shooting, and all hell will break loose and you'll lose all your bonuses. Uh, advantageously... When you knock this guy out, um, just inside the door on the left, not the right, there we are, is the EG switch, which basically makes all the glass uh, no longer see-through. So grab the body and drag it in here. There we are. Um, now, this is a bit weird. You can actually, if you uh, don't have Ghost, you can just hug the wall and head up the stairs to the camera that you'll see in a second, but you won't be able to get any of the bonuses around here. Um, what you want to do, you can get right up to there, but you can't mug him for some reason, even from there. So you're going to have to use Ghost. Uh, on here. Presumably you could pick something up and make a noise, have a bit of a run around, he'll come around the corner and you can get him there, but you'll have to do a better job of hiding the body than I have, um, because otherwise he'll see it, get alerted and you'll lose Ghost. So instead, uh, I just activated the stealth mod. Ghost, sorry, I'm confusing it, there's Ghost and Ghost, right? Ghost mode and then the Ghost bonus. But activate your stealth mod. Um, you can hack this computer. I think there's a code on it, I'm not sure. Uh, there's a data store up there, but it's only got credits on it. I blew a reveal software, um, so it just didn't really seem worth it for 135 credits. It's so far out of the way. Um, yeah, not much on there. Uh, there's a pocket secretary down there to the right um, with a code on it. Uh, 0211, I forget exactly what it's for. Um, a drawer with some hacking software in it. Uh, don't forget to loot the bodies and everything else. There's an alarm panel. Do not push that. Uh, and nothing back there. Now there's a camera up here, so yeah, you can just hug this wall and the other guy won't see you if you make it all the way up here. Um, so you're fine, you can just leave him down there. Then come around behind the camera, uh, actually make a bit of a fluff of this, and this camera very nearly sees me. Um, there we are. But you can pretty much just run up behind it, you'll see where I am when I go to hack it here. Uh, just walk up behind it and you can take your time. It will spin back but won't actually hit you. Uh, yeah, so there we go, there's the code for that, 0211. And if you use the code here, you get Master Felonist, uh, so an extra 125 experience for that, um, which is nice. Uh, there's some booze on the table there, lots of goodies in here, I'm going to speed it up while I pick them all up. Um, but the first piece of evidence is here, under the table, uh, the drinking water analysis. You can pick that up uh, and you'll get 1500 experience and uh, 200 ghost, 200 smooth operator, and if you want, you can just leave now. Um, there's some painkillers, there's uh, some security stuff you can hack, there's a couple of computers, there's a bunch of vents in here that show uh, some different routes in. Um, and I, again, I'm just going like straight for the node, so again, thanks to Cinemore for that. But switch off the cameras, uh, switch off the laser grid, and all that other good stuff. Uh, there's a credit chip on the table. Um, yeah, uh, we'll come back to that mechanical puzzle. Um, after we've had a bit of an explore of the vents as well um, and hacked all the computers. There's uh, I think 200 credits in here so it's actually not worth uh, worrying too much about those data stores unless you're really short on money but you shouldn't be. Um, I ended up just going I think, oh no maybe I did get them. Yeah 50 credits, 50 credits, 50 credits, 50 credits. Uh, but as long as you've hacked all the way to those nodes, it's very, very quick to get them all. It only takes about three seconds to get the lot. Uh, and then one more computer, I think, or did we hack it all? Now, there's a vent up here which leads back into the main room. Um, this is a bit confusing because um, I don't see a way to get up here. It's a good way down, but I just I can't work out how to get up there um, at all. I think probably if I can find the other exit to that vent over the other side, I can do it. But... Um, yeah, I just didn't spend too much time because there's quicker ways to get in. 
There's also a vent uh, on the ground if you don't want to, well not on the ground, but behind the TV if you don't want to flip the mechanical puzzle, there's no reason why you shouldn't, it's super easy. Uh, you can go through here, um, and this has a ladder down, the vent also leads to a couple of other places, so it's worth exploring those, but then through here, uh, that goes to one place. There's one in the roof, there we are, that will take you into the CEO's office, but you're going to need jumpy legs to get up some of these jumps. Pop in here, and there we are. This is the other side of the mechanical puzzle. But what we're going to do is uh, swing back. I thought there was a shortcut up there, but there is not. Um, head all the way back uh, to the main room. Uh, back up the stairs. Diddly do. Wah, 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 wah. And we'll do the mechanical puzzle. It's actually pretty straightforward. Um, what you've got to do is kind of match the things above it. Um, so push once, then move it. Then push once again, then move it twice. And then push once. Um, there you go. Uh, that will open that. It doesn't give you any experience for cracking that puzzle, but there's some breach software, a pocket secretary with another code on it. Um, sadly, not the code to the locker on the side. Um, that's probably buried in here somewhere. There's a lot of stuff. Uh, and an ebook, um, and then some absinthe up there as well, uh, which is sellable. Remember, sell it to the guy in southern Prague if you're short on cash. Now, hack this, and this is where you'll find the second piece of evidence another Praxis kit. Uh, and a triangle code. And actually, if you get executive keycard B, uh, there's a Praxis kit in one of the safes down there as well, but this one's pretty straightforward. As long as you can get to that level 5, uh, it'll probably set off after you hack the 5 like that. Um, and if it doesn't, it will when you hit the firewall. But there we are, you've got plenty of time either way. Uh, open this up, um, unlock the safe, pop it in here. And I was curious, there's a credit chip, triangle code, Praxis kit, and flight 451 dossier, which is the second piece of evidence. I was curious to see what happened if you took this one second, or this one first rather, rather than uh, the other way around. So I reloaded a save, and you get exactly the same amount of experience, 1500 plus 200 for Ghost and Smooth Operator. Um, now getting out, uh, I touched on this earlier, but you can head up to this ceiling vent, um, climb through there, uh, because you don't have the elevator keycard, you can actually get it off the dude in the um, computer room that nearly saw us earlier when we were sneaking in. Um, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but we're gonna, I'm also going to show you another route to getting uh, inside as well. Don't go off that way, you'll die um, or just fail a jump. Unless you've got Icarus landing, I guess. Um, for some reason I haven't taken Icarus landing, I don't really know why, because I keep taking full damage and I'm sitting on all these Praxis points. I just half think that there's something better I need. I do want to get remote hacking. Um, and I do want to get double takedown at some point as well. But yeah, you see that vent, that presumably leads somewhere interesting. I just need to work out where. So I'll go back and have a play. But careful when you fall off, just make sure you've got enough health not to die. Uh, there we are, you will take some damage falling, but that's a safe way back down. Now, if you don't have Ghost, for whatever reason, um, it's unfortunate, but it's still possible to do. So from the laser uh, thing, come over to the other side. Uh, and you'll see this sign to the elevator. Now just to the left of the elevator is this bin, sorry, just to the right of the elevator on the left is this bin, that's where it is on the map there, level 8. Uh, it's the same level as the lobby. Move that and there's a vent behind it. Now this is uh, going to take us, well, some interesting places. Um, there's a whole network of um, hidden rooms around here. Um, First up, you can smash through here to get into the executive boardroom. Strangely, the uh, no one will hear you. Um, the guards are remarkably stupid compared to the outside guards who get freaked out if you're you know, even vaguely close to them. But some booze in there, I think a pocket secretary on the table as well, um, with another code in it. Uh, not much else in the way of stuff in here, so pop back through there, and then down through this, uh, not that vent, uh, that takes you into security room. Um, Although that's a pretty easy room to break into, we just don't need to. Go through this vent into this room and then down the stairs. Uh, you'll see this electricity here. What you want to do, you can't open that from this side, you've got to do it from the other side. Um, jump up and run across the electricity. Duck, look immediately to the left and flip the breaker. Use some health if you need to, um, and obviously use the electric uh, dermal coating if you do, but I haven't found any gas or electric that actually can't just be run over with some uh, hypo stems. Anyway, coming into this room here, there's an ebook on the table, and there is the elevator keycard, which is going to make our life a lot easier. Um, so if you don't have Ghost, this is not a bad way to do it. There's a computer you can hack there, we'll come back to that. There's a pocket secretary on the table, uh, and there's a button underneath the desk which opens that terminal, which is the code I think that we just got off the table. Unlock that, and in there is uh, the executive vaults keycard. Um, not sadly the one with the Praxis kit, otherwise I would have gone and got it. The one with the Praxis kit is much, much further away. 
it's super annoying. Again, this one, pretty straightforward. As long as you go back to fortify, you'll have plenty of time, um, even if you blow that firewall. Uh, you can also get another uh, key code by using the messenger. And if you give the option, so Dominic Barabas is the guy upstairs. If you say admit, so that's what they decided to call it. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Sad face. Um, you can ask for a travel permit. Um, there you go. So you can get the new code for the safe there. Tell him to check with. Uh, tell him he told you to. The codes uh, three ones, but we're not going to go in there yet anyway. Um, then head back out through the vent you came in through. There we are. Um, back through the room, up the ladder, and we're going to come out through the vent that uh, was by the vending machines here, and that's right next to the elevator. I overshoot, but there's the elevator there, right next to the vent. So call that, and now you can actually send the lift up to level three, and more importantly, get down again, um, which is a much safer exit if you don't have Icarus landing. And then we're just going to do the same thing we did before. Wait for the guy to sit down, do the takedown, and make your way in here. Grab your bits and pieces. Um, yeah, that's pretty much that. Now, uh, you can also go into this vent here. This is um, where Dominic Barabas is, uh, the tech guy that you talked to on the messenger. We came through his room earlier, and there's actually an executive key card in here. So if you don't want to do the drop down, you can come in here whichever way you went. Uh, flip the switch so that the uh, lights are out, or so that the glass is clouded, rather. Um, and then there's loads of hacking software, loads of sellable components all over the place in here. So make sure you pick this place clean. Um, it's really definitely worth having a good look around here. I think I missed, there we go, I didn't miss it, multi-tool. Uh, there was the uh, key card there. Um, so we've got a couple of those now. There we go, crafting bits and pieces all over the wazoo. Um, so yeah, that's another way to get the key card. Uh, you can also hack the computer here. Dominic Barabbas. I went the wrong way, oh dear. I think I use nukes on these. No. Stop worm. Nukes. Yay, boom. Um, not very much of note in there, just some experience for doing it. There we are, black hat first try, hurrah. And then you can make your way out. Uh, I ended up faffing around here forever to try and drag his body actually into the duct. <laughs> um, I thought it would be quite amusing when I come back later to see his body tucked out in here. And it ended up taking far too long, so I apologise for leaving it in. But, you know, it gives you something to see and do. <laughs> I think I mentioned this in a previous video, but the first ever Steam sh uh, screenshots I uploaded to Steam were um, of me just piling up bodies in strange out-of-the-way places in... Um, uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution. Uh, through there goes yeah the other side of the laser grid if you've still uh, left that on. Uh, but there you go, call the elevator and then you can take it back down. So whichever way you choose, and I'm sure there are plenty of other ways as well, that's a couple of options for getting in and out cleanly. Then it's heading back to the box and down into the uh, sewers to go and meet Kay and report your findings. As I said, side mission six, there's a, did I say this? In side mission six, there's a third piece of evidence. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyway. Don't go this way. Don't go to K yet. We're going to head in the opposite direction because there's a little bonus here. Uh, 200 experience for Explorer and some hacking software as well. I kind of feel like this. there might be a mission or something in here later. But as long as you stay up high and you've got jumpy legs, uh, you can get the valves before dropping down. Um, so jump up and over there. Uh, there's actually two valves in this room, interestingly. Um, there's one all the way along here. There we are, there's the first. And then drop down to the left. Uh, here it is on the map, so it's in the what, southwest corner. There we are. Uh, so pop that valve there and then carry on around and you'll find another valve over, excuse me, another valve over here. So spin both of those and that will switch off the gas downstairs after a few seconds. Um, and then you can wander down there and have a poke around. I didn't actually find all that much stuff down here um, in the end. Uh, I think some hacking software on the table, some painkillers, a uh, computer that wasn't locked and it didn't really have anything on it. Um, yeah, so this is a bit of a weird one. Uh, was that a breach software though? I guess that's the main reason for it. Just some breach. Oh, lots of tranquilizer rifle ammo. There we go. I'd forgotten about that. 
Anyway, when you're done looting all that... Uh, oh, did I miss something over there on the left? I think I did. Uh, no, it looks like I'm being pretty thorough. Oh well. If you find anything else that I didn't, uh, please let me know in the comments. As always, love to hear your feedback about these and tips and tricks for the next missions that I do. Watch out for blowing that up in your face as well. That wasn't very clever of me, was it? Anyway, down here, head back to go and see K. You can take whatever route you feel is most appropriate. Uh, and you might want to go and visit the merchant after this, sell some stuff. Um, but through here, there we are. And you can uh, delve deeper, you can have a bit of a chat with him. Um, Flight 451. And then the water contamination as well. Give them both to him. Doesn't really matter which you give first. Uh, he'll take them both. Um, and you'll get 350 completionist. And there's one last piece to do here. Um, now, follow to the marker, and we've got to hack into a uh, tower. There's three ways that I've found to get up here. There might be more. One uh, is a little bit of trick jumping. Um, if you've got jumpy legs, you can do it this way. So you want to climb up onto the lip of this thing if you don't want to use a bio cell. Uh, move a little bit to the left and then jump up onto that flower pot and then up onto the roof that way. So that's your first way up there. The second way is to use the stairs by this uh, bench. Um, there's a big old block sitting around. You'll need strength for this as well as jumpy legs, but jump up and mash the climb button and you'll latch on. Um, and you can get up that way. And then the third way costs a bio cell, and that's actually just whacking a bio cell into there. There we go. And then go around, climb up into this, push the button, and it will raise all the way to the roof. Doot, 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 doot. Uh, when you get up there, there's a hack, so make sure you've got a multi-tool if your hacking skill is not good enough. I think it's level 3, maybe? Um, let's see. No, level 1. Okay, it's a very simple hack. Uh, what have we got in here? Nothing very interesting. 50 credits. There we are. Access granted. Uh, you want to enable remote admin. Um, then K will come in and go, oh, hello. Uh, and you'll get uh, 750 completionist. There we are. So that's all. Oh, and another 750, so 1500 in total. So actually, quite a lot of experience to get in this mission. Um, I didn't actually stop to add it up, but it is a significant amount. So, uh, to get down, um, if you've got Icarus Landing, obviously you can just leap off, but if you don't, you want to take the stairs down. Um, so that you don't die from the fall, and that's just there next to that chimney. Uh, so walk up there, tap the climb button, and make your way down, and when you get to the bottom, you will just fall off. Safe as houses. Yay! Uh, on the left, the Calibrator, that's Mission 4, I think, and on the right, a couple of Praxis kits in Northern Prague, and a whole load of Neuropazine. That was a brilliant jump, look at that, fell off. Um, but yeah, that's it. A uh, very long one, I apologise, but uh, the scenic route, as I mentioned, um, lots to see and do in that mission, so I kind of feel like it's worth mentioning it all. Uh, anyway, I will see you in the next video. I hope you're doing well. Lots of love. Bye!